Amnesty does things that I can't do in my work. It deals with the specifics uh, of injustice and when I say deals with it, what it does is it makes them public. It makes them known. It's a long time ago, it's 1979 that I appeared at the secret policeman's ball, the amnesty thing that John Cleese had kicked off. We don't get fooled again. And my friend Martin Lewis had invited me in to, in a sense, to kind of lighten the proceedings, to break up the comedy. Pete was the first rock musician for Amnesty in 79, and his participation is what enabled me to get people such as Sting and Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck. They came on board because Pete Townsend had done it. And in turn, that inspired U2 and Bruce Springsteen to support Amnesty. Quite big names got involved in supporting Amnesty, and it became evident that big names in music and amnesty melded very well. So it's good to see that, that what I did kick that off. I thought it would be important on this Dylan album to show that amnesty still had the support of people such as Pete Townsend. Approach Pete and he was pretty busy but he was of course very supportive of amnesty and he agreed to come on board. I got to executive produce it, which when it's Pete Townsend, you don't have to do that much anyway. He calls himself an executive producer of this, but has been the producer of a whole line of these events. Pete made the time, and I'm really pleased he did. I think everyone at Amnesty is thrilled. It's great now to be back doing something for Amnesty, which is, you know, rooted in the work of this great composer. Dylan definitely created a new style of writing. Dylan was the one who I think got the message across to the Beatles, which was that you can write songs about um, uh, subjects other than falling in love. I got a bird that whistles. I got a bird that sings. One of the things that Amnesty uh, upholds is, is, you know, it's in its declaration, in the Declaration of Human Rights, on which Amnesty based its original thesis, is, is freedom of expression. From you know the big chair at Amnesty, what happens when an artist in Iran, let's say, is put in jail for writing songs, is that we see it. Bed, I just can't keep from crying.